Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Lil Ray. My Lakers lost, so it's time to do a rebuild. Jokic wins Western Conference Finals MVP, and it looks like the Heat move on also. The finals that everybody kind of wants to see. And the Miami Heat beat the Nuggets. Ooh, Hemi Butler averaged 24 points. And unfortunately, we're going to have to redo the draft lottery because um, it doesn't save real life. But Pistons go number one, Spurs go number two, and the Raptors get number three so with the lakers pick i'm gonna go ahead and draft keontae george vic goes number one i guess the pistons steal him from the spurs time for our team and player options we're gonna let uh scotty pippen go and but mo bamba and beasley so we could save some money we're gonna have the ability to match Rui and austin reeves so i'm going to try to keep this as realistic as possible i'm not gonna try to cheese anything so in order to do that i'm gonna have to off offer austin reeves his contract that he deserves and even though Rui is only a 76 overall, I think the Lakers also have to offer him his contract that he deserves. That being said, we're going to have to renounce our rights to pretty much every single other person. In order to do this, Austin Reeves is going to get his $50 million contract and Rui is going to get his 40 mil. So Austin Reeves signed with us for 50 million. Kyrie went back to the Mavericks and Harden went back to the Sixers, which means that we have no cap room. For some reason, uh, nobody offered Austin Reeves anything uh, long with Rui Achimura so I guess we just got them on 1 million dollar deals for some reason so the Lakers need a point guard instead of D'Angelo Russell is gonna be a one year for Mike Conley for 14 million so Mike Conley is going to sign with us next I think a pretty cheap option for us to go get is Eric Gordon and we're just gonna do a little one year deal with him also another cheap little contract we're gonna go ahead and try to get near Lens Noel and we're gonna go after Josh Richardson as well so Josh Richardson and Eric Gordon Gordon both accepted. JC is still a free agent, but we can't afford him along with Kelly Oubre. We could try to offer Jay Crowder the minimum, but he's probably not going to accept. Yeah, he declined. So, so far, this is what our roster is looking like. We're filling it out pretty well. We got LeBron and AD, obviously. We still got Reeves around them and Vando. Instead of D'Lo, we replaced him with Mike Conley, a veteran point guard. We still got Rui Achimura. And then we got a shooter in Eric Gordon. We got the rookie Keontae George. And then we got another two and two way uh, sh uh, shooter score, Josh Richardson. And then we kept Max Christie. We're pretty much out of cap room. So we're going to only have to do vet minimums. Let's see if we could try to get Joe Ingles on a one year deal. No, he didn't want to come to us. Ah, so Noel decided to sign with us. That's good news. We'll see if we get vet minimum for Terrence Ross, another shooter. So we ended up getting Terrence Ross. We have 12 players on our team. So we could go after a couple vet minimum players. Uh, Javante Green. So we ended up getting Javante Green. He's a dog. I like Javante Green. And Joe Ingles actually accepted our second deal. So we're going to go ahead and get Joe Ingles. So this is what our roster is looking like, you know, at the end of the season. We got Braun in AD. Jared Vanderbilt, Austin Reeves, Mike Conley, Rui Achimura, Josh Richardson, Keontae George, Nerlens Noel, Javante Green, Terrence Ross, Joe Ingles, Eric Gordon, Max Christ. Now the player progression. This is where it gets interesting. LeBron is going to regress. Vanderbilt's going up one. Reeves, for some reason, stays at 81 overall, and Rui should be way higher than a 76. Josh Richardson actually went up. Javante went down, Terrence, yeah, all the older players kind of went down, but Max Christie went up too. So I'm trying to see uh, around the league, the Mavericks look like they didn't really get any help for Luka and Kyrie. They basically just said, let's run it back. They added Shake Milton and they added Jay Crowder and Dwayne Dedman. Miles Bridges signed with the Pacers. Cade, Jaden, and Vic, along with Kuzma. Ooh, this team's looking nice. The Spurs ended up getting Spencer Dinwiddie, which is pretty decent along with Brandon Miller. They also got Jeremy Grant. Looks like the Suns went out and got Thomas Bryant and Derrick Rose to try to help out the big three. And the Thunder signed Josh Hart. That's a big signing for them. And they, they also got Taylor Hendricks. Dennis Schroeder signed with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Dylan Brooks went to the Blazers. Kevin Love signed with the Golden State Warriors. John Wall went to the Chicago Bulls. Steven Chenzo went to the Cavs. Josh Okogie went to the Cavs. Jermichael Green went to the Cavs. Bruce Brown lost to the Heat and decided to join them. And they also picked up Boogie. Seth Curry went to the Hornets. 
D'Angelo Russell signs with the Utah Jazz, which is crazy because I'm pretty sure that's where he was originally traded in that three-man team. Van Fleet also goes to the Jazz, so they got Sexton, D'Lo, and Fleet. And then they drafted Anthony Black also. <laughs> Mo Bamba went back to the Magic with PJ Washington. All right, so this is the new starting lineup for the Los Angeles Lakers. We got Mike Conley, Austin Reeves, LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. Our sixth man is going to be Rui Achimura, and this is where we're struggling a little bit. Where we don't really have a backup point guard. So, you know, last year we had Dennis Schroeder, so that we might have to go trade for a point guard. I do kind of like Josh Richardson. I feel like he's a good replacement for Lonnie Walker. Javante Green is kind of like a replacement for uh, like Winyan Gabriel or something. So I think I could trade him for a point guard. We do have Keontae George, but he's pretty much like a two or a three. Noel is going to be our backup center. Terrence Ross is pretty much like that bleak Beasley. I feel like Joe Ingles could come in and get us some decent minutes just because, you know, he's a pretty smart player. I feel like LeBron will like that. Eric Gordon come in and try to just shoot for us. All right, for some weird reason, the Warriors will accept this trade. Javante Green and Eric Gordon for Kavon Looney. Yeah, I'll take it. So we did a sign and trade for Kavon Looney. I feel like that's a pretty good addition. And now that means we don't really need Nerlens Noel. So we can see if we can get a point guard for him. You know what? I'm actually going to end up doing this. I'm just going to say it's going to be a huge trade with the Lakers and Warriors, I guess. We're going to get Kevin Love and bring him back with LeBron James. So, so far we made a huge sign and trade with some of our free agents with the Golden State Warriors. We picked up Kavon Looney and Kevin Love. It is tough though because we still do not have a backup point guard. Although we do have the rookie. I don't really want Josh playing point guard or Terrence Ross or Joe Ingles. So I do really do think we should pick up a backup point guard just in case. Jordan Clarkson is a free agent agent that does not make sense to me russell westbrook's also a free agent with kelly Oubre. i guess teams didn't want to pay them their money man there's some good free agents out here like max drews gabe vincent io disomnu we got beasley lavert lonnie bro nobody was picked none of these dudes up we'll see if javon carter is gonna want to come on a minimum but he might not yeah he declined pretty much all of our players are free agents now troy brown i mean we could see if alexander walker is gonna want to do it probably not nope which means we're probably gonna have to go at reggie jackson just in case we need him so yeah we got reggie jackson this is the new updated team you know i'm not hating it it's something. It's pretty much going to be our last chance to win with AD and LeBron James. LeBron's 38 years old. But yeah, let's sim the first couple weeks. We got Dallas coming up first. So yeah, Jordan Clarkson actually decided to sign with Dallas before the game. Okay, hey, we, we're starting off pretty good. Look at this. We haven't lost a game. We just lost one game. Oh, Kevon Looney sprained right knee now he's back but honestly this is a very good start for us we are nine and three to start it off we did lose to the pelicans we 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 got killed by the the damn nuggets again we we let christian brown score 27 and we lost by two to the raptors but it looks like Rui's playing pretty good 17 points for him uh, Austin Reeves, 26, bro, zero points for Reeves. Josh Richardson had 15. Kevin Love with 14, Reeves with 13. But yeah, let's let's keep going and see what happens. All right, so we pretty much got to Christmas and we are now 20 and 11. We beat the Warriors on Christmas Day. And I'm not gonna lie, it, we're looking kind of good. Right now, we are third in the West. You can't complain about that. Denver is number one. In the in the East, the 76ers are number one and the Celtics are two. All right, so let's simulate to the All-Star break and see what happens. And Kevon Looney got hurt again. He broke his nose. That's gonna be tough. But Kevon got hurt. We won a couple. Oh, there it is. The, the dreadful once a year Anthony Davis injury it was going smooth he could play through the injury but actually no I don't think he can so Kevin Love is gonna be inserted in the starting lineup oh this is gonna be interesting we got both of our big men hurt right now and Kevon Looney is back so we we lost to the Sixers without our centers Anthony Davis is back. Thank God. LeBron James is now out. Of course he is. And when AD comes back, LeBron is out. So now we got Max Christie going to be in the starting lineup for LeBron James. 
We'll see how this goes. Kevin Love is now hurt. Oh, the injury bug is going around, but the all-star break is right around the corner. So that's good. It looks like Austin Reeves not even starting anymore. It looks like he went to our sixth man. He's dropping in overall. Rui Achimura has been hot though. And same with our rookie, Keontae George. All right, we're starting to lose a couple games. We're on a four game. And now Max Christie broke his finger. Ooh, if we could just survive, Kevin Love is fully healed. That's good. But if we could just survive before, okay, today's the trade deadline. Yes, let's make some trades. All right, so we, you know, we dropped off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We are now the fourth seed in the West. We dealt with some injuries. Looks like Golden State is number three. Nuggets are number one. Same in the East as how it was last time. Let's see if there's any rumors. Celtics might want to move Derek White. Bucks trying to trade Brooke Lopez. Suns trying to trade Thomas Bryant. Pacers are trying to make Dennis Schroeder for Mitchell Robinson happen. Bulls trying to trade Dwight Powell. So halfway through the season, we'll look at the stats. Anthony Davis is averaging 22 and a half with 10 and a half rebounds. He's having a pretty good season. Two blocks. AD's doing his thing. LeBron, 27, 8, and 6. Max Christie, although it's only five games, he's scored 11 points. Shooting 25% from three, that's unlike him though. Mike Conley is averaging about 11 with six and a half assists. Reeves dropped off, he's only averaging eight. For some reason, 2K just don't respect Austin Reeves. Vando is averaging seven with seven rebounds and he's averaging a 1.3 steals, which leads the team with LeBron. Josh Richardson is averaging 10 and a half points. So he looks like he's doing really good for us. Looney is averaging seven rebounds. Kevin Love, Nine and a half points with five rebounds. Rui's averaging 8.8 .8 points. Joe Ingles looks like he's struggling a little bit. He's only played nine games. Uh, I thought he could be a little bit of help to us, but I guess not. Terrence Ross also not really doing much either. So we'll look to trade uh, Joe Ingles and Terrence Ross and see if we could get somebody. Reggie still hasn't played a single game. We could go and try to get Kelly Olynyk for three of these players right here. Or we could get JaVale McGee and Jay Crowder, which isn't bad either. Christian Brown. We'll see what we could get for Joe Ingles first. Yeah, honestly, we might have to package them all together because this is not good. For Terrence Ross. So yeah, we're just going to package them all together and probably go with the best offer, which is either going to be Jay Crowder or Kelly Olynyk or even Christian Brown. In this trade, we do get a point guard back and then a small forward who's only 22 years old in Christian Brown. Jay Crowder is kind of aging, but it also comes with JaVale McGee. Or we could go with Kelly Olynyk. Honestly, I think we're gonna go with this trade right here, Christian Brown and Jordan McLaughlin. So now we have uh, traded for Christian Brown and Jordan McLaughlin. We'll see to anything else. Uh, Vanderbilt, he's probably our best defender. 1.3 steals a game. I don't really want to trade him. Bree's really been struggling, but you know, I really don't want to trade him because we've seen him in the playoffs. He could do something. Maybe we could sell high on Josh Richardson because he's been having such a good season. We could get Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, that's going to do it for the uh, trade deadline. We're just going to sim past that. Austin Reeves just got hurt, but you know, we're right by the all-star break, so we should be good. And let's go through the all-star break and see where we're at. We are 34 and 26 at the all-star break, which is going to make us the number four seed in the West. Not mad at that, to be honest. The worst team in the West is the Utah Jazz. The Phoenix Suns are 13th with this team, Durant, Booker, and Paul. And Aiton, that is tough. Clippers are also struggling really bad. The Grizzlies aren't playing good no more. The Dallas Mavericks are the 10th seed. Kings are the 8th. Let's see what we could do after the All-Star break. Contracts, semi yeah, we, we got to extend maybe some of our contracts. We'll see right now. So LeBron is not eligible. Anthony Davis will resign, so we'll, we'll resign Anthony Davis. You know, we got to keep AD. Vanderbilt refuses a resign. Okay, guess he's not going to resign with us. And Max Christie's not going to sign with us. Maybe I should have traded Jared Vanderbilt. Let's finish this season off strong and let's see what we could do in the playoffs because it looks like we're going to make the playoffs unless we just go on a huge losing streak. Josh Richardson just got hurt for four to six weeks. This is not good. He should be good by playoffs but it's going to be tough without him because he's been one of our best players scoring. Maybe it's time for Keontae George to step up. And of course, Anthony Davis gets hurt for the last two. Oh, of course he does. All right, he's good. He's fine. He's back. That Warriors game was big. We're starting to lose a lot. This is not good. And Vanderbilt is out for four to six weeks, our best defender. Oh my goodness. Richardson's back. We're finishing the season strong. Christian Brown, he's fine. 
Warriors, we win. Christian Brown, yeah, he's fine. Suns, last game. Jokic is going to win MVP. 28.8 points, 11.7 rebounds, 9.9 .9 assists. We got Vic, rookie of the year. 18, almost 19 points. Jordan Poole, sixth man of the year for the Golden State Warriors. Evan Mobley wins defensive player of the year. Jonathan Kaminga, most improved player. So I think the Warriors had a pretty good season. JB Bickerstaff is going to be the coach of the year. All NBA first team, LeBron James. Ooh, I like that. Second team, we got Porzingis on the second team with Evan Mobley, John Morant, Steph Curry, and Embiid. Harden makes the third team. Anthony Davis did not make a team. Defensive first team, let's see if Vando made a team. Did Vanderbilt make a team? It doesn't look like. Here's the second team. Uh, yeah, he didn't make it. Our rookie first team. Second team. Yeah, our rookie did not make it. But that's fine. Going into the playoffs as the fifth seed going against New Orleans. Our problem is our best defender is injured in Jared Vanderbilt right now. It looks like we picked up Isaiah Thomas somewhere in the season. So it's time to adjust some of these minutes. LeBron's going to have to be getting a lot more minutes. Probably going to take uh, Christian Brown's minutes away. Uh, Keontae, you know, rookie minutes, I guess. Give them to LeBron. LeBron going to be playing about 35 AD, 35 also. Mike Conley's going to be playing more minutes. going to be playing 30 minutes. Josh Richardson, 25, I think. Keontae George up. So this is going to be the rotation in the playoffs. To start it off so the playing tournament oh wow the kings got eliminated dallas ends up making the playoffs and they're going against golden state and for the east pacers got eliminated and the miami heat fought their way back into the playoffs and they lost to the wizards so the wizards make the playoffs the heat do not make the playoffs so sacramento memphis and minnesota all miss the playoffs and for the east Miami, Toronto, and the Pacers all missed the playoffs. Looks like Detroit is the sixth seed. So this is going to be our starting lineup going against the New Orleans Pelicans. This is going to be very tough. Kevin Love versus Zion Williamson. I don't know how I feel about that, to be, <laughs> to be honest. We really need Vanderbilt back. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would put LeBron James on uh, Zion and put Vanderbilt on Brandon Ingram. But... This isn't looking good because we don't have Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is day to day. So maybe we could try to win one without him. It's going to be tough because they have home court advantage. So let's see. Yeah, they're going to take game one. They beat us. Zion goes off like expected. 31 points, 10 rebounds. Brandon Ingram also has a good game. Anthony Davis, LeBron do their thing. Austin Reeves kind of, yeah, you know, he playoff performer. Hey, Keontae George did pretty good for his first uh, performance. Uh, looks like Josh Richardson struggled a little bit. So we'll make some adjustments. Honestly, I think I'm gonna try to play Vanderbilt through the injury because we really do need him. I'll, I'll just put him at about like 17 minutes from now, but just I think having Vando in the starting lineup can help slow down Brandon Ingram and uh, Zion Williamson. So I'm gonna start LeBron at the four. I think that will help out with the matchups. Game two, we end up winning. The adjustments worked. Brandon Ingram and Zion, as you see, they, they struggled compared to the last game. Zion only got 16. So again, I'm gonna cut down uh, Richardson's minutes to about 19, and I'm gonna give uh, Keontae about 25, Reeves 24, and we'll see where this takes us. All right. Game three, we are at home now, and we end up winning another one. Anthony Davis, 34 and 13. LeBron, 20 and 6. Rui stepped up big. Looney getting some good minutes. Kevin Love. Keontae George, a double-double. So again, I'm just going to start slowly taking Richardson's minutes away. The starting lineup's working, but we'll just give them to Keontae George. You know, he's been playing good. We'll see if we can win both at home, and they end up splitting the series they win by four points brandon ingram had a huge game zion williamson had also a pretty good game yante george been playing pretty good but now he's he's shooting a lot more shots so the rookie i don't know about him you know 
He's shooting a lot more shots. So, uh, yeah, I got to take away Keontae's minutes a little bit because I think the rookie's getting a little too minutes. Too much minutes. You know, he just needs to come in for that spark. We'll give it back to Josh Richardson. Take away Conley's minutes a tiny bit, and I'm going to give him to Vando, hopefully for some defense, and we'll see where this puts us. Going back to New Orleans for this game. We actually need this one. We're good. Vando, Vando's fully healed for this one in New Orleans. We take it, and we are going back home with a chance to end the series. Brandon Ingram, 25 points, 12 for 21. Zion did good, CJ struggled really badly. Josh Richardson had a good game, 14. It's about that time to fully unload the tank. It looks like LeBron and AD are tired, but I think we gotta win this game right here. We are up 3-2, we're going home. We don't wanna go to a game seven. So we're, the rookie's only gonna get 15 minutes this game. Kevin Love's gonna have his minutes cut down a tiny bit too. Um, and we're going to, AD and LeBron are gonna have to play a lot this game. This is a big game for us. We're at home. Mike Conley, Josh Richardson, Jared Vanderbilt, LeBron, and AD. I like these matchups, though. The Warriors did move on in five games versus Dallas, so that's who we're going to be playing. They could get our, they could get their revenge. But first, we got to get out of this round. And they tie the series up. It's going to game seven. I feel like that was our chance to win the series. If we lose the series now, it's, it's not going to be good. Keontae George, you know, he's been doing his thing. Mike Conley's really been struggling like badly Vanderbilt didn't do anything that game Zion and CJ now I'm trying to look we could make an adjustment we'll see the stats right here they turned the ball over 18 times they out rebounded us defensively our bench played a lot better than theirs points in the paint they got 50 we're getting desperate for this game seven Vanderbilt is struggling so we are going to take him out the starting lineup and we're going to start Kavon Looney Trying to get some more rebounds. Oh, man, it's, it's going to be tough. I think the rookie's got to have a big impact. In this. Like the, he's got he's to do really good. We'll, we'll take Vanderbilt's minutes away. We'll give him about 13. Keontae is going to get 22. We're going to take Kevin Love out, out the rotation. It looks like he's injured. LeBron and AD, 40 minutes. Mike Conley, uh, I'm putting him 29 minutes. Josh Richardson, 25 minutes. Looney will give him 25. I want Austin Reeves getting a lot of minutes also. Same with Rui. Rui's got to get a lot of minutes too. This is the game. We, we got to have this. It looks like we're going to have a nine-man rotation for this one. We're starting a new starting lineup. This is the game. Game seven. We move on. The lineup worked. Zion went crazy. But Brandon Ingram kind of struggled. LeBron James had a triple. Look at Keontae George. 22 points josh richardson 16 anthony davis 15 and 14 looney had 10 rebounds we dominated the paint it looks like mike conley five turnovers but 13 7 and 7. we beat them in points in the paint and look at the offensive rebounds 15 to 8 this is probably a big reason why we won the game we out rebounded them defensively too all right so like i said we're gonna be playing the warriors the warriors are the number one seed in the west and it looks like OKC got upset by Minnesota. The Pistons had a nice little run, but they lost to Boston. I'm thinking, should we go away from this starting lineup? It worked last game. The Warriors, remember we made a couple trades with them. We traded Nerlens Noel, but we got Looney back. So I'm interested and I'm wondering, should we start Kavon Looney in this matchup? It worked last it worked last series. For the Warriors, look at this, man. Stephen Curry's averaging 38 points a game in the playoffs right now. Jonathan Kaminga is averaging 20. If you guys don't remember, he got most improved player. Noel is getting 10 rebounds a game. That trade worked out for them. Clay Thompson's getting 20 points a game. Andrew Wiggins 16. Jordan Poole almost 25 points a game. Draymond Green is injured. Torn right MCL. So no Draymond this series. It looks like we have the advantage, to be honest. I mean, they beat the eight seed. They don't have Draymond Green. Curry has been going crazy. Mike Conley probably not going to be able to guard him, to be honest. And Jordan Poole has been playing very good, too, along with Jonathan Kaminga. I'm going to give the rookie 24 minutes. You know, he's been playing very good. All right, so first game, we're just going to stick with the lineup that won it in game seven. You know, maybe we have to adjust, but we'll see after game one. We are in Golden State. Let's see if we can steal one. First game, the Warriors end up winning. Warriors beat us by nine points. Looks like Klay Thompson had 27. Stephen Curry 
22 and 9. Andrew Wiggins, 20. Kaminga had 20. Moses Moody, 14. Poole, 13. Mike Conley played good. LeBron had a triple double. Davis, 20 and 20. I think we're going to take Looney out the starting lineup because he was struggling. Vanderbilt looked active, so I think this might be a Vando series. All right, so we're going back to the starting lineup that won us a couple games in the first round. We got Mike Conley, Josh Richardson, LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. But I think we're going to have to go smaller against Golden State. It looked like Rui played pretty good, too. So I'm going to take some of uh, Keontae's minutes away. I'm going to put Reeves over him. Now I'm going to put Rui up in the rotation as well because Rui was playing pretty good. I'm going to put Rui six man actually. And Golden State wins again. They win both games. We are down to oh, Andrew Wiggins 31 points. Poole 23. Curry 20 and 9. Clay 19. Anthony Davis does it good again. LeBron with 38 and 7. Rui Achimura been playing really good too. Keontae had 10. Vanderbilt. Didn't really do much. Reeves just been struggling in this series. No, we're going at home. I don't want to get too desperate, but I think we're going to start Rui this game because Rui's been, you know, he's been balling in this series. Now, I think Austin, yeah, Austin Reeves has been struggling, so I'm going to take some of his minutes away. I'm going to give it back to Keontae. Keontae's got to be big for us, to be honest. Kevin Love is fully healed. This might change a couple things. He's been having a pretty good season. Maybe he could fit in with LeBron. But I'm not going to lie, this, this might be a must win. They got Derek Livers as their starting center, whoever that is. AD needs to dominate him, bro. Anthony Davis needs to dominate this guy. They have nobody to stop him. Rui Achimura is in this game for starting lineup, and we win. Exactly what we did, we took care of home, home floor. AD 33 and 14, LeBron triple-double. Look at Mike Conley balling out. Keontae George, 18 and 7. Josh Richardson, 13. Rui got 13 in the starting lineup. Reeves still struggling a little bit. And Kevin Love got 10 minutes. Didn't really do much. You know, it worked. It worked last game. Is it going to work again? It does. We tie the series up, take care of our home floor. LeBron, 44 point game. LeBron coming off a very good game. I think we got to give LeBron his, some of his minutes. You know, LeBron's been deserving it. Uh, Kevin Love, I think I'm probably going to take him out the rotation entirely. This is a big game. Again, they do not have Nerlens Noel. But we are on the road. We haven't beat them on the road yet. We need to steal one and go back home with a chance to end the series at home. This is our chance against Golden State. This is their rematch. Portland moved on. They beat Minnesota. The moment of truth. We go three straight wins and it looks like we're in good shape going back at home ad 26 points lebron 17 18 and 7 josh richardson had a good game keontae had a really good game Rui doing his thing if we could get out of this game and move on we're gonna have ourselves another conference finals appearance with the new team but the warriors this is the same scenario as last year the lakers are up 3-2 at home a chance to win the series and go play portland philadelphia ends up beating boston in the rematch it's time it's time we're simming with gamecast all right it's looking good it's looking good not gonna lie. look at this we got a 10 point lead in the third quarter as long as we you know don't let them go on a run we should be good we move on to the conference finals for the second year in a row. We win four straight against Golden State. Taking a look at their lineup, they got Damian Lillard. They pretty much got the same team as last year. They got a rookie. I think our team is better than theirs, to be honest. Who knows? That being said, I'm going to give LeBron a little bit of a rest. A tiny bit of a rest, you know, not too much. Game one of the Western Conference Finals against the Portland Trailblazers. And guess what? We have home court advantage in this series because Portland snuck in. They beat Denver, the number three seed. So we finally have home court. We go on and win the first game. Oh yeah, this this is feeling this is feeling like the season. Anthony Davis, 29 and 10, five steals, four blocks. LeBron dominated almost a triple double. Keontae George is stepping it up big. Can we win game two? Oh, they actually take a game. 
LeBron played pretty good. Davis played good. Even Rui played good. Keontae played pretty good. Looks like Simons went off again. Damian Lillard, 20 and seven. Bench points. They are dominating our bench right now. Game three, this one is gonna be, this one might swing the momentum. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I think I'm gonna give LeBron his minutes back. It looks like Vando and Looney are liking this series. Reeves struggled a little bit as so we're taking his minutes away. Game three, and Portland wins. No way Portland beat us. Dame went off. Uh oh, this is not good. It's not Anthony Davis. Alternate Davis didn't play good. Damn. Conley didn't play good. George didn't play good. Rui didn't play good. Now I'm trying to look. See, zero fast break points is probably the biggest thing that jumps out to me. Rebounding, they killed us on the glass. Like, killed us. But yeah, we, we got to win this one. This is a must win game. They actually dominated us that last game. So I'm kind of worried. And we, we tied up. Going back home, we tied it up. This series is getting tight. I'm not going to lie. It's a tie series. We're going back home. We got to win. Keontae George, 31 points. The rookie. So Keontae got to get his minutes. You know what? Richardson, you've been balling, but I'm giving Keontae 30 minutes. We are at home. We got to win this game. The biggest game of the series. And they win it. No. They go on and beat us. Anthony Davis played horrible 13 minutes did he get hurt why did he only play 13 minutes anthony davis got injured are you kidding me bro right hand fracture for anthony davis out for the season of course that might be our season bro it might be our season man i'm not gonna lie that that really did hurt but we do have kevin love to step it up to come in and Hopefully give us something, but we're our backs are against the wall. LeBron, we're gonna need that. We need 40. We need you to play the whole game, to be honest, but we're not gonna do that. 44 minutes for LeBron. Mike Conley, you need hella minutes also, bro. Our best player got injured. Of course he did. We'll, we'll look and see who played good besides him. You know, Kevon Looney's getting rebounds. Scoring isn't really there. Vando, eight points. Richardson got 14, Conley 17, Keontae's been doing his thing. We might have to try something new, like move LeBron there and move Josh Richardson to three and Keontae in the starting lineup type stuff. Like we might have to do this lineup right here, even though I, I don't really want to, but we might have to, to be honest. You know, Vando off the bench with Reeves, and Kevin Love and Rui Achimura. We might be doing something crazy, but you know, we kind of got to get desperate at this point. <laughs> oh man, we're on the road, man. This one's going to be tough. The good news is LeBron's going against a rookie. He should be able to dominate him. Matisse Thibault is guarding Josh Richardson. Keontae George should be able to cook. We got to hope for a miracle in this one. We got to hope for a miracle in game six. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. <sighs> Oh no, we gotta make a run and it's not gonna happen. Our season is gonna come to an end. No, we get eliminated by the Blazers because Anthony Davis gets injured. We scored two fast break points. Yeah, we got out rebounded. Second chance points, they had 18, probably because LeBron was playing power forward. The finals go to the Atlanta Hawks win the finals. Trey Young is gonna get finals MVP. Okay. Who would have thought that Trey Young is an NBA champion? Chris Paul is going to retire after his team played horrible. Kyle Lowry's done, Al Horford's done, but LeBron's still going. You know, he's got to play with his son for one year. All right, the draft lottery. The Magic get the first pick. Rockets get the second. Jazz get the third. And I don't even think we have a pick because we traded it away. So our second year, it looks like Looney and Christian Brown are free agents. I'm gonna, you know, I might actually keep Christian Brown because he's 23 and he's a 75 overall. We could probably trade him to be honest. He's on a pretty good contract too, 3 million. So Max, Christie, and Austin Reeves, we, we could offer them again. Honestly, Lamella Ball is a free agent. That's crazy. Looks like LaMelo Ball is a free agent. I would really like Lonzo Ball, to be honest. You know, I really kind of want to trade Anthony Davis away. Kind of screwed us over. 
LeBron James. We could trade LeBron James away too, but you know, that's kind of messed up to do. He only got a year left on his contract. Bronny James got drafted by the San Antonio Spurs. All right, we got pretty much a whole new team. We got rid of Mike Conley, Austin Reeves, but we did end up getting Ochi Abaji in a sign and trade deal for Christian Brown and Kevin Love. We also got Rui Achimura back on a two year deal. We signed Gabe Vincent for a $3 million contract alongside Jose Alvarado for a vet minimum. And we picked up Harkenstein for about 7 mil. And we obviously still have Josh Richardson under contract for one more year. We do have about 2.3 millions to spend. Yeah, Caleb Martin is going to sign with us. All right, so we ended up actually getting Gabe Vincent and Caleb Martin. So I think we are kind of weak at point guard, to be honest. I mean, Jose Alvarado is not a bad starting point guard. But I think that is kind of weak a tiny bit. Josh Richardson is probably going to be our small forward starting. Gabe will be off the off the bench, which I'm not mad at. I like him off the bench. Just trying to look at all the point guards that are still available right now. Like Mike Conley is still up there. But, you know, nobody too crazy. I think we could live without a point guard just because LeBron is that. So we'll see if some of these guys uh, will take a vet minimum. We'll see. Maybe Kessler Edwards. We'll see if Kyle Anderson might, you know, take a vet minimum. Actually, we could sign Kyle Anderson for 4.7 mil. So we offered Kyle Anderson. You know, who else can we offer? No, I'm, I'm not going to just go away from this Luke Kennard offer also. Man, Austin Reeves has zero offers. Maybe even Gary Harris. So they all want to sign, but I think I only have room for one of these guys. I don't think this move ultimately decides the season, but I think this actually can... This might be big, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get Kyle Anderson. So this is the end of free agency. We're going to get LeBron James AD alongside with Ochi Abaji, Keontae George, Jose Alvarado, Caleb Martin, Kyle Anderson, Josh Richardson, Rui Yachimura, Gabe Vincent, and Isaiah Harkenstein. Hopefully these role players are enough for the team. Player progressions. LeBron goes down by three AD down by one. Ochi Abaji is now 80 overall. Keontae's now 78. Start of the new season, it looks like the Thunder have the best team in the power rankings. We're actually fifth on 2K Sports. This guy has us at fifth. And NBA.com has us at number one. This might be our last chance to win a championship. It looks like the Mavericks still just don't have any help. They did get Boyan Bogdanovich, which isn't really horrible. Jordan Clarkson ended up going to the Pelicans. That's a good deal for them. Sub so bonus joining the damn Pistons. Oh, they're forming super teams over here. Cade Cunningham, Sabonis, Vic, Jaden Ivey, and Kevin Herter with Jonathan Isaac. Come on now. Bronny James is on the San Antonio Spurs with Brandon Miller. Chris Paul is now retired, so it's now just Booker and Durant. Lonzo Ball is on the Thunder. This team is stacked. They also got Kelly Oubre, Kevon Looney, and Josh Hart. KCP goes to the Timberwolves. The team that made the finals last year doesn't really look like they made any big changes. Warriors got Mike Muscala now. Nothing really changed for them. Link Capella is on the Bucks. And Mike Conley went to the Bucks. You know, he wants revenge or something. He just wants to be in the finals again or the conference finals. Jalen Duren went to the Chicago Bulls with Tyus Jones. Hey, that's kind of a nice little team over there. Taylor Horton Tucker and Buddy Heald go to the Grizzlies. And the defending champions pick up Brook Lopez. I don't know if they had him last year, but they ended up with Luke Kennard. But now I think it's time to look for some sign and trade opportunities. Or we could even look to trade our own Josh Richardson on his last year on his deal, 31 years old, he's aging. He, he played pretty good minutes for us last year, but we could see what we could get for him. We could get Moses Moody or Dante DiVincenzo. But at the same time, he is one of our best three-point shooters on the team. Ochi Abaji is number one. Actually, Josh Richardson's kind of down there. One person I do want to trade is Campbell Walker and maybe Amir Coffey. This is LeBron James' final chance to win a championship on the LA Lakers because this is his last year on his contract and he's either retiring or going into the Spurs to play with Bronny. So this is the last dance, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what happens after this season, this is the end for the Los Angeles Lakers. AD's got to stay healthy. To be honest, this is our starting lineup. Jose Alvarado, Ochi Abaji, LeBron James, Kyle Anderson, Anthony Davis. It's not a bad starting lineup. Six man, we got Keontae George, we got Rui, Caleb Martin, Josh Richardson, 
Harkenstein, Gabe Vincent. This is a very solid team. All right, we've only lost two games so far. We are five and two, six and two. Lost to the Clippers both times though, and Keontae George just sprained his right toe. All right, he's fine. Of course, right when I say he needs to stay healthy, Anthony Davis gets hurt. Are you kidding me, man? By the way, we lost to the Spurs, I mean the Clippers, three different times already. Harkenstein is inserted into the starting lineup with Kyle Anderson. I don't know how I feel about this. That man, Anthony Davis, can't stay healthy, bro. All right, back to the simulation. All right, Anthony Davis is back. Just like that. We're starting to lose some games, though. You know, I thought we had a good team. We're starting to lose some games. We're about 500 right now. We just won two in a row. Kyle Anderson broken left thigh. That is huge. But it, it gives us a chance to start a new lineup. Kayla Martin, you know? Kayla Martin is going to be inserted into the starting lineup. Maybe it's going to be good. Uh, Ochi Abaji. I want him to low-key play point guard so I can start Keontae. But Keontae, you know, I think just one more year until he's a starter, probably. And if it gets too crazy, I have something in mind. And now Harkenstein is out for the season. Wow. Adversity is striking the Lakers. But Anthony Davis is back, so that's good news. But Harkenstein is now done for the entire season. Kyle Anderson is also still hurt. Looks like Rui is in the starting lineup now with LeBron. I don't really think there's that much options that could save us because we are below 500 right now. And now Keontae George is injured. So we get to Christmas Day and right now we are outside of the playoffs looking in. We are the ninth seed and there were high expectations for us this year. But it just looks like injuries are just piling up, piling up, piling it up. We got more injuries. Keontae George is now hurt. He's one of our better players also. So we might have to make a desperate move. Bradley Beal is on the trading block along with Daniel Gafford. They also have Jared Vanderbilt and Amen Thompson too. This is the team that is selling right now. Jared Vanderbilt, Amen Thompson. Let's see what we can get for them. Nobody, of course not. Maybe Vando, Ochi Abaji and Kayla Martin, Jose Alvarado, Namir Coffey, Rui Achimura, Caleb, mm, no, might have to do this to be honest. One of these, we might have to do one of these to be honest. Uh, Rui's still under contract. Caleb, I really did like Caleb, but you know, we need a center. It would be nice to have Vando back. Now, I did say they were selling Bradley Beal, but they want LeBron, so that ain't gonna happen. But honestly, I think we're gonna trade Caleb Martin and Josh Richardson for Jared Vanderbilt and Daniel Gafford. I think this. We gotta make a desperate move to save the season. So we got Vando back in the starting lineup. Um, and now we got Gafford to replace Harkenstein. Our bench is looking pretty thin. It wasn't this thin last year. Gabe Vincent, Rui, his Kemba is not it. McDermott, you know, Keontae's there, but. So it's said that the Thunder are shopping Kelly Oubre. We'll see what we could get for him. Ochi and Rui, I don't like that. I don't like that. I, wanna, I don't wanna give up Ochi Abaji, to be honest. Maybe Patrick Williams? Bonzo. They want AD, hell no. Now that we got Vando, hopefully this will help us out a little bit. Now that he's played with us last year, we'll move forward to the trade deadline. Keontae George is back from his injury, so that is huge. We now have Keontae, he's gonna be our seventh man because Gafford is now our sixth man. All right, we'll continue to go to the trade deadline. Vanderbilt got a bruised knee, of course. Kyle Anderson is back though, so that is the good news. We now have Kyle Anderson back in the starting lineup, which pushes Rui to the bench for some scoring. We are on a three game losing streak though. Jared Vanderbilt is back. So it looks like we're gonna start Jared Vanderbilt and have uh, Kyle Anderson on the bench. But well, honestly, I think we might be able to trade Kyle Anderson for somebody. Just keep that in mind. We'll go a couple more games and see how things are. Yet we, we can't go a couple more games. Our season is slipping away right in front of us. We are 14 and 23. We are playing ourselves out the playoffs. We are literally the second to worst team in the NBA right now. We have to make a move. Desperately. Desperately. Because this team is not working. Let's see who we can get for Ochi Abaji and, and Kyle Anderson. All right, maybe just Kyle Anderson. Nothing much, man about Rui. We could get Josh Hart for Rui Achimura. Kind of like that. We could also get Malik Monk, but we got some shooting guards. We could also get Jordan Clarkson or Kelly Oubre. I think we're going to go ahead and get Josh Hart for Rui Achimura. It was a good run for Rui, but I think Josh Hart is going to be a good addition for us. Like I said, we're, we're getting pretty desperate at this point. All right, let's go to the trade deadline. Kyle Anderson is 
injured. Bro, Kyle Anderson just keeps getting hurt, man. Keontae George is hurt. Oh my goodness. We're kind of making up a tiny bit of ground. Like we're winning a couple games now. We got to go hard. Yeah, now we're starting to win. We're, we're catching fire. Jared Vanderbilt strained left Achilles. All right. We, we, we kind of turned our season around a tiny bit. We are now 11th seed. We are one game out the playing tournament. Mm. It, but, you know, we got 25 wins. That's only like two games out the sixth seed. So the trade deadline is here. Vanderbilt, Ochi Abaji are both expiring contracts. And now it says we are selling. Monte Morris is being shopped around. All right, Colin Sexton or Fred Van Fleet. So we might we might try to make a big splash right here, to be honest. It might have to be Ochi Abaji. The whole Josh Hart for Kyle Anderson for Van Fleet, and we get a first round pick. It's not bad. We do need a point guard, but we'll keep looking. They did say Monte Morris is being shopped around for Ochi Abaji, Gabe Vincent and Josh Hart, Jose Alvarado and Josh Hart, Kyle Anderson and Josh Hart. So we did just trade Josh Hart, but we could trade him away for Monte Morris. We do kind of need a point guard, to be honest. We could get Austin Reeves back and trade him for Kyle Anderson, or we could trade him for Jose Alvarado. I think we're going to do this trade for Austin Reeves as a top three protector. We're getting rid of Kyle Anderson. He hasn't really been doing anything. He keeps getting injured. We'll get Austin Reeves back, man. So now we got AR back. So that's good. That means we could kind of get rid of Ochi Abaji now. Bobby Portis and Mike Conley. We could run it back with them. We could also get Marcus Smart. Van Fleet. Oh, Clay Thompson. I mean, if we want to win now, we might as well make it happen. You know, Clay Thompson. Why not? We now have Jose Alvarado, Klay Thompson, Josh Hart, LeBron, Davis, and now we got Reeves on the bench with Gafford, Keontae George, Gabe Vincent. I think our team's looking nice. We could try to trade Jose Alvarado. All right, we could go for Van Fleet. Jose Alvarado, Josh Hart, and Gabe Vincent. I think I might do it. We get Christian Braun back. Uh, we are giving up a couple point guards but we're getting van fleet you know we got to go out all out right now bro is is this year or not at all like i said man is this year or not at all we got van fleet clay thompson lebron james anthony davis and daniel gafford right now we got ar on the bench with keontae george christian brown and then yeah we got some bums you know but at the same time vanderbilt is hurt so hopefully he could come back soon jared vanderbilt is back we got Vando in the starting lineup. Gafford is now on the bench with AR. We got to make the playoffs. That is our goal. And of course, Anthony Davis is hurt. I'm leaving it. He playing through it. I don't care. We are now back at 500. NBA standings. We are now the sixth seed. Just like that. We got to keep on winning. We're stuck right at 500 right now. We just broke it. 33 and 33. Van Fleet bruised left forearm. He got to play through it. He got to play through it. Oh, yeah. We're winning towards the end of the season. Let's go. 42 43 44 wins darius garland wins mvp huh 28 and 12 matas bazoulis simons wins six man of the year anthony davis wins defense of player of the year let's go amen thompson most improved player jb bickerstaff coach of the year again Darius Garland makes All-NBA first team. LeBron got it too. LeBron first team, probably last year on the Lakers. AD makes the second team. This is our year. Scoop makes the All-NBA third team in his second season. All-defensive first team AD. And we are in the playoffs going against the Dallas Mavericks. Phoenix, Memphis, Denver, and Golden State are all in the play-in. Looks like Memphis and Phoenix got in, which means Denver and Golden State got eliminated. Pacers and Raptors got in, which means the Boston Celtics and Chicago Bulls got eliminated. It's about that time for the playoffs. You know what we do to the rotations. This is our last dance, our final chance to win the NBA Finals. Keontae George, you know he a playoff performer. He's dudes their minutes that they deserve. Clay, get him his minutes. Get Fleet his minutes. We are going up against the Dallas Mavericks who traded for Draymond Green and Nikola Vucevic. They got their team better. Not gonna lie, their team's looking pretty nice. Game one, we win game one. Luka gets a triple-double, Kyrie 32. 
But LeBron drops 40. He wants that fifth ring. Klay Thompson, 25 AD, 21. And you know the playoff performer, Keontae George, 19. Look at Reeves putting in some work. Game two. We take game two. This is the year. This is our year. Le Anthony Davis, 45 and 11. Now we are at home and we win another one. We go up three to nothing. LeBron, a huge game. Van Fleet, another 13 assist point game. Going for the sweep. And we sweep the Dallas Mavericks and get a break. Van Fleet, one to two weeks bruised right hip. Good news is we did get some rest, so maybe he's good now. Van Fleet is, he's fine to play. You know, that rest paid off a little bit. He's a little bit sore. We got to get rid of Harkenstein's and Christian Brown's minutes. We are going up against the number one seed, bro. The, the Thunder. They got Taylor Hendricks, Shet, Josh, Giddy, Shea, and they got Lonzo on the bench. AD's going against Shet. That's going to be tough, though. Game one, we win. This is our year. SGA, 20 points, but Clay Thompson, 30. LeBron with a triple double. Game two. We lose our first game of the playoffs. The rookie goes crazy. It's time to go back home. Our first game at home, we win. Anthony Davis, 27-11. LeBron, 24. Everybody's scoring 20. It's looking good. Next game at home, we are going to lose. We split it. Series is tied. It's tightening it up a little bit. Not going to lie. Vando. Let's see the plus minus. Vando's a minus 10. Van Fleet is still a little bit injured, but he's fine. I'm going to cut Vando's minutes a little bit. It's time, man. Going back to OKC for game five. Van Fleet is fine. So Van Fleet is going to get some minutes back. Here we go. Must win game in OKC. And we win it. Let's go. Keontae George 25, AD 22. LeBron 17 rebounds. In the last game at home, the closeout game to move on to the conference finals for the third year in a row. Let's go, man. Going against the Thunder at home. We got a lead. Oh, they took it right back, though. They took it right back, though. Hold on. It's a battle right now. It's a battle. Woo! Going back and forth. Slow it down. They're kind of pulling away. We tie it. There's four minutes left. We might have to jump in. We might have to jump in. Oh, they're pulling away. They're pulling away. We got to jump in here. Here we go. All right, so the Thunder taking a little bit of a lead. There's a minute, 18 left. Josh Giddy shooting free throws. All right, AD taking the ball up. What's he got? AD, high pick and roll with... Oh, he's... What is he shooting? No! We might be done with this game. What is going on, Anthony Davis? Oh, he got a steal. Here he goes. Fast break all the way. Dunked it. I don't know what he's doing, but it's working. We're down by six, I think. With 54 seconds, we need to stop going against Lonzo Ball. Come on, shoot something stupid. Oh, yeah, that's Vando in the post. That's Vando in the post. He's fouling. Yeah, this one might be a lost cause, I'm not going to lie. We got through the second year player, Hendricks. He's missing. We still have a chance. He got to miss one. There's pressure on him. SGA is out of the game right now for some reason for Lonzo. He's going to make the second one. We're down by seven with 45 seconds. Well, we got Van Fleet up ahead. We are going through Davis. Fleet fouled. And he's going to make it. Van Fleet, second free throw, in. Okay, down by five, we need a stop. They're pushing it ahead. We gotta get a stop, Clay Thompson, he's fouling. What are we doing, that's his fifth foul. I think this one might be over. Yeah, he's hitting both free throws. AD in the post, this is a tough shot, he's gonna miss. Here comes Shad Holgrim. Reddish for three. They took a quick shot. That was low-key a bad shot. He shot another bad shot. Got a rebound. Come on, Bron. Let's go. LeBron lost it. Come on, Bron. Get your fifth ring. Bron. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on, bro? That's the game. We're going to lose, and we're going back to OKC, bro. That was our chance. LeBron had 28. Davis, 23 and 12. Gafford had 21. 
I think I might start Gafford next game for uh, Vanderbilt. Ah, uh, game seven. I want to go to the Western Conference Finals, bro. The Hawks already made it there again. But nah, we, we got to do something. I don't know how I feel about Vanderbilt in the starting lineup. So we're, we're going to play Daniel Gafford and hopefully Anthony Davis could do something. Vando, he's got to get his minutes cut, to be honest. Uh, LeBron got to play. They were tired at the end of the game, though. I'm not going to lie. They were pretty tired. I'm going to have Keontae playing some more minutes. Game seven in Oklahoma City. We're starting a new lineup, and so are they. They're starting Patrick Williams at the four and Cameron Reddish at the three. Here we go, man. Game seven. Oh, we got off to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are probably going out sad on LeBron's final dance. LeBron's last dance just doesn't go how he planned it. This is going to be sad in Oklahoma City. We tried it, man. LeBron and AD is just a failure. It's just a failure, bro. We, we couldn't do it. The Thunder are running the clock out. The Oklahoma City Thunder are advancing to the Western Conference Finals. The Lakers don't make it. And we sent, we tried everything. I thought we had the roster to do it this season. But we just came up short. Anthony Davis, 19 points. Keontae has 17. LeBron struggled really badly. Clay struggled. Fleet struggled. It was bad. And the Thunder are playing the Atlanta Hawks. We'll see if the Hawks can go back to back. Will the Hawks go back to back? No. At least we got eliminated by the team that went on to win the championship, the Oklahoma City Thunder. They just had too good of a team. They had depth. They had Lonzo Ball as their backup point guard. Russell Westbrook is going to retire. Derrick Rose, Mike Conley. So LeBron James ended up going to the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to end up trading Anthony Davis for Jaron Jackson Jr. since we are now rebuilding. We're going to end up trading Fred Van Fleet for Kawhi Leonard. We're trading Daniel Gafford for Carson Wallace just to clear up some cap space. And we're going into free agency to get some players. And the first player that we are looking at is Jalen Brunson. We're going to offer him the max contract that we can. And hopefully he signs with us. And we did end up signing Jalen Brunson to a four-year, $160 million contract. So now we have Jalen Brunson, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kawhi Leonard and Keontae George. We're gonna end up renouncing Christian Brown's rights so we could save some money in cap. And we're gonna go sign Mo Bamba as a center. We're gonna end up signing Alec Burks and Matisse Thibel. And last but not least, Kenrich Williams. So our final team is looking like this. Jaron Jackson Jr., Jalen Brunson, Kawhi Leonard, the big three. And then we got the young Keontae George alongside with Mo Bamba. We got a defensive player and Matisse Thibel. We got Kenrich Williams and we got a rookie center. We got a young Carson Wallace and Alec Burks. Kawhi Leonard is now an 83 overall. He went down a lot. Keontae George is now 81 overall. And LeBron James ended up going to the San Antonio Spurs to play his last season with his son, Bronny James. And they also got some young talent like Brandon Miller and Malachi Branham. Randall's on the Raptors now. Keldon Johnson is on the Spurs alongside with Jeremy Grant. So they got some help. Donovan Mitchell is on the Bucks with DeMar DeRozan. Evan Mobley is now on the Bulls. Jason Tatum is on the Cleveland Cavaliers alongside the former MVP Darius Garland with Zach Collins and Patrick Williams. Brandon Ingram went to the Boston Celtics to replace Jason Tatum. And Giannis went to the Clippers to replace Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Edwards along with Franz Wagner and Van Fleet. So the Clippers got a lot better. John Morant now has Anthony Davis in his last couple years in the league. Scotty Barnes is on the Jazz with DeAndre Eight. Austin Reeves also on the Jazz. Jalen Green is on the Kings with De'Aaron Fox and Desmond Bain. And Jeremy Sohan went to the New York Knicks because he was not gonna play with LeBron James. At the end of the season, LaMilla Ball went on to win MVP and Vic got defensive player of the year. He's now averaging 25 and 12. He had 1.3 steals and three blocks. Greg Popovich is going to win coach of the year for the San Antonio Spurs. Lamelo is going to get first team with Scoop, Vic, Giannis, and Jokic. Darius is going to get second team with Luka, Tatum, 
Mobley, and Davis. And third team is Cade, SGA, Brandon Miller, Whitmore, and Joel. Defensive team, we got AD first, Vic defensive team, Evan Mobley, Vic, and both the Thompson brothers. Jaron Jackson made the second team. Mikey Williams gets our rookie second team. But unfortunately, the Los Angeles Lakers missed the playoffs with a record of 33 and 49. And on the bright side, LeBron James carried the San Antonio Spurs to the number one seed. So LeBron is going for that fifth ring. He's got his son at point guard along with Brandon Miller. The Spurs are going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Spurs end up sweeping and move on to the second round. Memphis loses first round with Anthony Davis. And LeBron James season comes to an end as the Houston Rockets come back from 3-1 to one to beat the Spurs and move on to the conference finals. Tyrese Halliburton is Eastern Conference Finals MVP and for the West is Josh Giddy. The Thunder are back in the finals again, but the Pacers end up sweeping the finals and Tyrese Halliburton is gonna get finals MVP. And LeBron James last game. He only got 10 points and 10 assists. Bronny had 14 and six. LeBron James officially retires after that last dance with the San Antonio Spurs and unfortunately never got his fifth ring. Kevin Love finally retires for the Clippers and DeMar DeRozan also retires for the Miami Heat. Of course, LeBron James and DeRozan are in the Hall of Fame and LeBron gets his jersey retired by the Miami Heat, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. If you guys enjoyed this, remember to hit that like button because it took a very, very long time to make and edit this video. And if you guys enjoyed, hit that subscribe button for more rebuilding slash 2K videos and NBA just stuff in general. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Zite. Peace.